Hello, good evening. We are live here in the beautiful Limbury Theatre to meet the Yetta Parker Young Artists, the young singers and pianists who make up the company here at the Royal Opera. Now, this event is Jukebox One, and we're going to be hearing eight singers and three accompanists perform short snippets of pieces, which you are then going to vote for to decide which ones you want to hear in full when we're back here live on Friday for Jukebox Two. Welcome to Covent Garden. So it's all very exciting tonight. You're going to hear a smorgasbord, I love that word, of artists and songs from about 20 different composers. Now, if you're new to opera and classical song, then this is going to be a great tasting menu, if you like. But then if you're a regular here and you're really missing connecting with the music that normally you'd be hearing on these stages here at Covent Garden, then hopefully this will reconnect you with that music, with those composers tonight. It's going to be pretty spectacular, I can assure you of that. Now, all the singers are going to introduce their pieces. I'm going to be chatting to some of them as well. And we are going to start by meeting our baritone, the Argentinian baritone, Herman Alcantara. Lovely to see you, Herman. You've actually graduated from the scheme. You left a couple of months ago, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I left the program on August. So that was my last year, the last but season popular demand has <laughs> brought you back here I'm, as a guest. I'm very thankful to be here <laughs> again to share with my friends this wonderful concert, this wonderful week in this Royal Opera House, our house and your house also. Exactly. Now, three snippets of some wonderful songs. Tell us what you're going to be singing. Well, we have a selection of three songs from the early bel canto till very small. So the fair piece is um, a wonderful, wonderful opera by... Um, Bellini, and this is I Puritani, so a famous uh, aria for baritones where we will talk about love and frustration. The second aria is from an opera by Leon Cavallo, but this is not Pagliacci. This is uh, an opera called Zaza, and this is uh, the moment when his best friend will give her some hard advices. Um, and the last piece is an opera a piece, actually, that everyone knows by Shakespeare, but on music of Amboise Thomas. This is Hamlet, and this is the moment when he will play drunk to trick the king. Well, Herman, if you're ready, and with Michael Papadopoulos at the piano as well, please, take Thank it away. Thank you.
Brava, Herman, some Shakespearean trickery there at the end. You heard three delicious snippets. You have to choose one. Which of those three pieces would you like Herman to sing in full on Friday? I'm going to tell you how to do it now. However you're watching this now, whether you've logged in on Facebook or on YouTube or however you've done it, we want you to comment and vote, if you like, by going onto the chat function. Just put in the singer's name and put in which piece you'd like them to sing in full on Friday. Now, the composer and the title is there on the screen, or you can just put one, two or three, if that is easier. And if you'd like to have another little watch, have another think, you can do, because we're going to take your votes right up until noon on Thursday, and then we'll put the programme together for you to enjoy live here again in the Limbury on Friday. So, that's all very exciting. I've got our next performer standing by. Alexandra Lowe is here, all the way from Lancashire, it says, but there's another story, isn't there? There is, and um, I was actually born in Mallorca to uh, Lancastrian. Lancastrian? Yes. Parents from Lancash Lancashire. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I grew up in a bunch of Spanish schools, so I have, like, two sides to me. It's good fun. It's very exciting. I'm very glad <laughs> that the Lancashire accent is still proudly there, though. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever shake it off. <laughs> Very good. That's what we like to hear. Now, you've only just joined the programme, haven't you? But you've already been pretty busy. That's right. I, um, I arrived at the beginning of September, uh, thrown in to do this incredible um, uh, La Dame de Monte Carlo, which was this incredible piece that we filmed. And then, um, and then I did my debut on the main stage as Daphne in Apollo, in Apollo and Daphne by Handel. And that was incredible. I, I mean, bet it was. You know, still pinching myself about that. So oh, incredible. fantastic. Yeah. And what are you going to sing for us tonight? 
So I'm going to start with Nun Alt Herbei, which is from The Merry Wives of Windsor, which is based on the Shakespeare. And Frau Flute, whose aria I'm singing, has received a letter from Falstaff. And as a married woman, she tries to come up with entertaining ways of leading this man on in order to spice up her otherwise very dull life. Excellent. <laughs> what have we got after that? <laughs> and then um, I'm going to sing two pieces from the song repertoire. And these two songs are quite connected in theme because they're actually about the end of somebody's life and them trying to find peace and rest. And I just feel that, like, you know, we all have our personal grief to deal with. And especially in a time like this, I feel that people could turn to these songs to find some comfort. And so the first one is very famous, Beim Schlafen gehen by Richard Strauss, uh, from his four last songs. And I'm going to follow that with So Will Go No More A Roving uh, by Maud Valerie White. Alexandra, thank you. Thank you. Doch wenn er kommt, er 
Victoria stuff from Alexandra Lowe. Thank you, Alexandra. Tough this, isn't it? Choosing from those three. Don't forget to get involved and vote for which one you'd like to hear in full. Now, we're having a bit of a changing of the guard at the piano now. We're going to swap Mike Papadopoulos out and bring in Michael Stickich, who's uh, going to be accompanying the next three performers. And the first of those is right here, Blaze. Lovely to see you, Blaze Malaba from the DRC. Last time I saw you, it was on the main stage upstairs back in June. But uh, And then you, you just finished, hadn't you? Just performing in Handel and Susanna just before everything ground yeah, yeah, to a bit yeah. of a halt. That's and... the last thing I, <laughs> I did just before the lockdown. I think we finished on Saturday and the next day everything was closed. So we were <laughs> lucky. <laughs> you got that one in there. And you're still working with Handel now. You're working on another Handel role, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the moment, I'm understudying the king in Ariodante, which, yeah, which is a nice role and I quite, I enjoy Baroque music, so, yeah, and I'm, it will be great to learn from Gerald Finlay because I'm covering him and I had a session with him, so looking, really looking forward to it. And he's a very generous teacher as well as Colin, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, what are you going to sing for us tonight? Uh, King René's Arioso from mm -hmm. Yolanta. Uh, Yolanta is blind, uh, blind so uh, the king is begging help from God and he is really ready to uh, give up everything so that her daughter can see. And I will sing Banco's aria from Verdi's Macbeth. Uh, he's in the garden with his son, but he's kind of... Uh, he had kind of he has a bad feeling, kind of, uh, and he knows that his king was killed uh, in the same place. So, yeah, but the feeling was right because by the end of the by the end of the aria, he dies, and his son is lucky to escape. So, if we can say that, and the last one, it's it's an aria which is barely performed, which is from Tito Manlio, uh, Vivaldi. Uh, Tito, who is a uh, Roman consul, so decided to send his son Manlio to spy <laughs> Latin people, just to collect more information. But he specifically asked him, asked him to avoid any kind of confrontation. Yeah. So you've got some Baroque in there at the yeah, end. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <Always>. Okay, Blaise, <laughs> when you're ready. Thank, Thank you, you very much.
clips there Tchaikovsky we got some Verdi or some Vivaldi which is it going to be you have to choose you need to go to the chat function on your YouTube or your Facebook page and say which of these pieces you want to hear from all of the performers so they're all going to be performing something on Friday night but which piece that's up to you well our thanks to Blaze and uh, now we're going to move a little higher up the vocal range Felipe Manu our uh, Tonga New Zealander is here one of our tenors on the program lovely to see you again lovely to see you. you have got three very different pieces you're very different sing. I do I do I'm starting off with uh, Tamino's portrait aria from the magic flute in which Tamino has just been handed this portrait and immediately upon seeing it he's struck by this new feeling he's not sure what it is though could it be love Vote for it on Friday and uh, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> All could be revealed. It will be revealed. And I know that you're going to introduce your other two pieces as you yeah, go along, Yeah, I'll introduce the other two pieces as I, as I perform, as they're, they're pretty different, so yeah. Okay, when you're Thank ready. You. From a bit of Mozart to a, uh, to a Tongan song. So this is a uh, Tongan love song, or a Hiva Kakala, which is from my home village in Tonga, the Takuma Tonga in Mu'a. 
And it is about, uh, it is about love, but uh, the form of unrequited love. A, uh, a man has been left by the woman that he loves, and as much as he tries to move on, he is unable to do so. So he resigns himself to the fact that this will be his new reality. This is Yafiafi Beawongo Ivale. And to uh, finish off is uh, a bit of tosti uh, in the form of ideale. Um, similarly to the Tongan song, it is about love. Um, and it's not too clear whether or not the, uh, the lover's love has, uh, is no longer uh, with, with him. Um, but in any case, he sings that he yearns for this, this ideal, this ideale to return. And that he will do anything for just one moment for this ideal to return. This is ideale.
Felipe Manu, thank you so much. Excellent ukulele work as well. Bet you weren't expecting that. Three very different pieces to choose from. It's all up to you. You're watching Jukebox One live here from the Limbury Theatre at Covent Garden, meeting the Yetta Parker young artist. And I'm delighted to say that the first of our mezzo sopranos joins me now, uh, Ksenia Nikolaeva. And Hello. you're the newest member of the programme. You've only yes. just joined, haven't you? Absolutely. This is absolutely amazing. Well, we're very happy to have you here. And uh, what are you going to sing for us? Uh, today I have three very beautiful and very different pieces. Uh, I'll start with uh, vocalize in habanero form by Ravel. Uh, so there are no words in this piece. <laughs> uh, then um, I'm singing for you a little bit uh, of Lubasha Saria from The Tsar's Bride. As you know, a love triangle are very common in opera. <laughs> And in this area, Lubasha is a part of this triangle. And uh, then uh, I'll finish with a very beautiful and very, very famous aria, uh, Dalila aria from Samson and Dalila, in which Dalila is trying to charm Samson and uh, trying to find out the secret of his strength. And we know how that ends. Okay, so. Ksenia, when you're ready, and with Mike at the piano. Michael, thank you.
are making her Covent Garden debut. Ksenia Nikolaevna, thank you so much. Now, accompanying Ksenia there at the piano, you just heard Michael Sikic for the last three performers, in fact. Lovely to get you up from the piano stool. Come and tell us a bit about yourself. You've just joined the programme again this year, haven't you? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Now, we always know how important you pianists are. You don't often get in the limelight. Does that bother you? No, not at all. I, I love being on stage with someone else and sharing energy with them and having sort of that collaborative relationship. It's very exciting for me, and it's much more fun than being on stage myself. So, <laughs> That's yeah, a very it's, good answer, indeed. Really fun. Uh, now, you're here as a repetiteur on yes. the program, aren't you? Just explain to us what that means for the next couple of years for you. Uh, yeah, so being a repetiteur, you have a lot of responsibilities, but your main job is to be the orchestra when the orchestra's not there. So you're part of the whole rehearsal process up until the show. Um, and the challenge in, in that is really knowing what the orchestra is playing and studying the score so that you can create that same sound um, in the rehearsal room. Mm. And then the second part of the job is helping the singers learn their roles and uh, add uh, dynamic range and shape and color to their singing and really be their support system. So it's, it's a very fun job and there's lots of different parts to it. Now, not masses of live performance, some, but not as much as usual going right. on at the moment. So what else have you been up to? Because I know you've not been sitting, uh, sitting on your hands. Yes, definitely, <laughs> yeah. When I, when I came last month, I uh, jumped right into it with some mono dramas that we recorded uh, in the Opera House and using a lot of the empty space. Um, so you can, you can see these, uh, I think they're online now, they're called Solo Stories. And I did the uh, Poulenc, La Dame de Monte Carlo, with Alexandra Lowe. Um, and it was, it was really fun to shoot in all sorts of different locations in the house. So that I, was a great project. I bet. And I think you can find them on the YouTube channel as well. Yes, YouTube and, and Facebook. Of yes. course, we urge everybody watching to do that after yes, this. Yes, right? after this. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, listen, thank you so much for chatting to us thank and you. indeed for your beautiful playing Thanks. as well. And I think we're going to meet the next of our tenors now. Uh, we've got our second tenor of the evening, Andres. Presno from Uruguay. Here he comes. Lovely to see you, Andres. Same How are greeting. you? Very nice to see you again. Now, I don't think you got back home to Uruguay, did you, during lockdown? No, I stayed here. I, uh, the moment it was like a really uh, rushed decision about going home or staying here, because it was really probable that I could get caught in Uruguay, not being able to return if I mm. needed, and it was the best decision to get to any opportunity I could because you've been busy, and in fact, you're going to be taking part in one of the live performances this week on Wednesday, aren't you? Yes. What, yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, we are doing a live concert uh, uh, with Xenia uh, Nikolaeva, Alexandra Lowe, and Blaise Malava. Uh, We're going to be accompanied by David Gowland, and it's going to be two recitals on the same day to a live audience. So it's Perfect. really exciting. And preparing for main stage as well. Yes, we have Falstaff at the end of November. Uh, it's going to be conducted by uh, Antonio Papano, and we are going to have as Falstaff, uh, Bruin Terfall, and fourth is going to be Simon Kinleyside. Nice yeah. lineup. And you're playing Dr. Caius, Dr. yeah? Dr. Caius, yes. Perfect. So what have you got for us now this evening? Uh, today I'm offering uh, Te Quiero, uh, that it's music by Alberto Favero and lyrics by Mario Benedetti. He's a Uruguayan uh, poet. Uh, and it's a song that talks about community, about how we can get above everything together. Secondly, I'm going to be offering El Uceva le Stelle, that it's the famous aria from the third act of Tosca by Puccini, where Mario is facing death. He's just waiting uh, to face it. And in the last instance, I'm uh, offering the aria from Gabriel Adorno, from Simon Boccanegra, he's uh, in troubles. He really loves Amelia, but he just got noticed that she's going to marry someone else. Oh. But it's only for the moment. <laughs> OK. Everything is OK Fair. after. <laughs> Andres, I look forward to it. You're joined at the piano by David Garland, who's the artistic director of the Yet Parker uh, Young Artist Scheme. Lovely to see you here as well, David. So when you're ready. Thank you. Oh, 
and teasing us with those uh, excerpts. 
leaving us wanting more. Now, you've got to choose which of those you'd like to hear at Jukebox 2, live here from the Limbury on Friday. Get voting now. Comment in your commenty chatty sections, however you're watching that technical term there from Derham. Right, uh, that was Andres Bresno, but I'm joined now by Madame Anisilia uh, Brangwanasha, who I haven't seen for a couple of months. It's lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you too. You've been busy. Yes. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, you're, having a, you're loving life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to? So I've been uh, on the main stage uh, singing uh, uh, Samuel Baba's Knoxville, which was really great. I, I really enjoyed doing. Got great and, reviews as well. Yes. So, and uh, we have recorded uh, meet the, for Meet the Young Artist Week. I've sung... Uh, Jake Hagis at the Statue of Venus, which is online. The viewers can go and watch it and enjoy. And I think they should. They yes. really should. But what are you going to sing for us now? So I am going to sing uh, Rusalka's song to the moon, where, where Rusalka, she's in love with the human prince. And uh, in this song, she is pleading to the moon that... Uh, she wants to become human and be with the prince so that she can embrace the prince. And uh, next I'm going to sing a South African traditional song, Tula Tula, which uh, parents sing for their babies. It's a lullaby song. And uh, I'm going to sing Elizabeth's aria from uh, Don Carlo, Act 5, where she is also in love with Don Carlo, but they can't be together. So she thinks the only option for her is to die. It's not what we want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to this. Thank you so much when yes. you're ready. And David, thank you. Thank you.
I don't know how you choose between those three. Masabane, Cecilia Rangwanasha, thank you so much. That was glorious. Before we hear from our final performer tonight, I just want to tell you what to expect from Jukebox 2, the live event on Friday. It's pretty much up to you, actually, because you will have chosen which pieces you're going to hear our eight singers perform. Uh, they will be here singing those pieces in full, and uh, there'll be subtitles on the screen for you to follow. You can access it via the Royal Opera House website, just £10, and then you can watch it again and again and again for a month. Uh, so, get involved. Vote now. We have one more performer. Saving the best to last. It's <laughs> Stephanie Wake Edwards. Hello. Hello, nice again. to see you again. Very nice to see you. Last time up on the big stage. Oh, yes. And you got it out of the way. You were up first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now, <laughs> not so much. Is it nerve wracking standing by listening to all your colleagues and friends? I don't like going last, but I'm used to it. Being <laughs> W, I was always the last in assembly, in the register, the last to get my lunch which was the worst. <laughs> oh, Got to wait for those potato smileys. <laughs> <laughs> Part of your balanced diet as a singer. <laughs> it's key. Um, now, listen, what have you been up to? I know you've been part of the, uh, some of the sort of behind the scenes filming which has been going on mm -hmm. here. How was that? So we recorded solo stories. So they were solo female monodramas, monologues. Um, and that was a female led um, production. And I did Ariana and Naxos by Haydn. Uh, a really cool modern update um, directed by Matilda Dutiel McNichol. Hi, Matilda. And um, <laughs> that was also artistically directed by Sammy Fendel. Sammy did all three of them. And Michael, who you heard playing earlier, played the piano. He was the orchestra. Um, and it, it was super fun and a different... Yeah. different way of performing which whole was kind of skill. the first time yeah 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 so I, I guess a bit of a silver lining to the whole lockdown scenario yeah yeah i mean that wouldn't have happened had we not <laughs> had covid <laughs> <laughs> we're looking on the bright side yeah here. exactly now stephanie um what do you got for us tonight so i have three um pieces i have two songs and an aria i have one by brahms and i am doing uh unbewegte laue luft which is a very sensual song. Um, so there's rapture in a night garden. One is waiting for their lover to arrive. And then the second piece I have is Britain's cabaret song, so Funeral Blues. And that is set on the poem by W.H. Auden, made famous by Four Weddings and a Funeral. And then my final piece is Paulina's Romance from Tchaikovsky's Queen of Spades. And this happens in Act One, and it's separate to the action. They go, Polina, play us a tune to cheer us all up. <laughs> and she plays a really depressing song. <laughs> a kind of pastoral, sad tune. So, Taking yeah. us out on a high. Exactly. You. <laughs> You're welcome. This is going to be great. We're looking forward to it very much indeed. Thank Stephanie Wakehead with everyone, and David Gallant on the piano.
Tremendous last three pieces. They're snippets from Stephanie Wake Edwards, and you've got to choose now which those three you would like to hear again on Friday because that is it. You've heard all our eight singers now. We've heard three pianists as well. And the next thing I want you to tune into is Friday night, Jukebox 2, when your choices will be. We'll have a wonderful program of all these singers singing one aria or song in full. I can't wait. So get involved now. Go to your comment or your chat section, whatever platform you've signed into, and put the artist's name and song number one, two or three, or indeed the title, if you want to be uh, super detailed about the whole thing. That would be great. That would be really good as well. And we'll count all those up. You can do that until Thursday at noon, as I have said once or twice. But listen, it just suffices me to say now, thank you so much for joining us for this live event, the first chance this week to uh, hear the Yetta Parker Young Artists in action. And uh, don't forget that after Jukebox 2 on Friday, there's another opportunity, Saturday. You can hear them in a sort of a live ensemble concert. There's going to be duets and trios and quartets on this stage and accompanied once again by David Gowland. But for now, my thanks to all the artists, my thanks to you for watching. Good night. <laughs>